Born on a farm in rural Iowa, my dad grew up watching his father get up before the sun and work hard until after dark. My father was cut from the same cloth with the belief that hard work, honesty, humility, and kindness would serve him well. When I share about my dad, I often describe him as salt of the earth, who loved to work with his hands and till the soil. He cherished planting something, nurturing it, and watching it grow. This video was from a 2017 trip to Iowa and was captured on the family farm. Anyhow, my point is the poor farmer had to do all his chores. Feed the chickens, gather the eggs, the pigs, milk the, the cows, cattle, the milk, milking, and then go out in the field. I remember my dad just come in after dark. We'd have dinner. As a guy would stand there drying dishes for my mom. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> after doing all this all day long. Oh, man. It's incredible. My dad was devoted to helping his son in so many ways. Just one series of examples. From about the year 2000 to around 2018, my dad traveled multiple times from Goleta to San Diego to help me out with numerous house projects. He would put everything going on in his life on hold and take the time and energy to come help me out, sometimes for multiple days at a time. I absolutely cherish these times together. My dad was such a kind and gentle soul. One of the things that always warmed my heart and brought a smile to my face over the years was to see him with my cats. They absolutely loved him and you could tell they felt safe in his arms. For the past 22 years, my dad and I have been avid fans of the San Diego State men's basketball program. We always looked forward to lunchtime because that's when I would call him and we would talk Aztec basketball. He loved for me to read him articles from the local newspaper and run through the player stats from the recent games. This season, the Aztecs had an amazing run and made it to the national championship game. They ended up losing, but it was a magical season nonetheless. This video shows the winning shot from the Final Four game that catapulted them into the finals. As we watch this now, my dad is without a doubt smiling from ear to ear. Five to shoot, taken on. And it's blocked. Pulled down by Minson. They have the one timeout. Are they going to take it or not? They don't have the scores on the floor. It's Butler with two seconds. He's got it. My dad loved this great country we live in and spoke often of the tremendous opportunity available here. For as long as I can remember, he flew a flag outside of our house. He always stood proudly, hand over heart, for the national anthem. One of the favorite things that my sisters and I looked forward to when we came home was going on what we called the walk with mom and dad because if the flag was up at La Patera School, my dad would stop at the same spot and raise his hand and salute the flag, a man paying his respects. This video was captured three weeks prior to his passing. To you, happy birthday to you. Oh, <laughs> trick is your trick, Dad. <laughs>
You gotta pull him out 89 times. I want to say how blessed mom and I are to have three mm. wonderful children. Oh, we love you so much. You. We are the blessed ones. This is one of my favorite photos of my dad. It encapsulates so much of who he was and how I'll always remember him. I was working in the backyard and turned around to see him standing there with the morning rays of sunshine filtering through the trees and it was a magical moment that I had to capture. There is so much I love about this photo. His beautiful warm smile, his cap with the Hang Loose logo on it. He's got his belt on with his tucked in button up collared shirt with rolled up sleeves like so many thousands of other photos. He has his pins in his shirt pocket and you can be sure that while it's not visible, there's a pocket planner in there as well. A farmer tending to his land. Papa, you're my best friend. I miss you terribly. We will see each other again though, and until that time, may the road rise up to meet you, may the wind be always at your back, may the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. I love you. Marcus.